Amy. Amy, come on. Time to get up. Amy, you packed yet? Regret is a difficult thing to live with. Just when I finally realized that Hannah and David were the best friends a girl could ever have, they're gone. Oh, no, 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 they're not dead. Although there was a time when that would have been my most fervent wish. Like when they installed an underground electric pet containment system for our golden retriever, Rosie. Are you gonna bury our dog? Hannah can be such a twit. And David can be so weird. Flags, mark the boundaries of your personal space. Got it? Side yard. If the dog gets too close to the flag, does she get... Is that what happens? David used to think there were dead bodies in old man Gower's house. Look there. Oh, my gosh. His parents moved to Australia and left him behind with his grandmother so he could finish school here. It's this one-of-a-kind school for kids with shall we say, special requirements? These days, Hannah spends all her free time taking art lessons from Mr. Gower. <sighs> David has moved so far away. Wear your nice sundress. OK. This morning, I'm off to the lake to visit my grandparents. That'll be fun. All we have in this whole neighborhood here is eccentric elderly people. Ah, case in point, that would be Mr. Angstrom and his latest weapon in the war against moles. Which means Mrs. Sanders should be up as well. Yep. She can't bend over, so she uses that gripper thing. It seems to work better on natural turf. Shh. The center of the local black market cake trade is right next door. Mrs. Gillette's back door bakery. No credit cards, no sales tax, no health inspections. Do I sound a little world weary? I'm all right. In fact, a lot of my life's in pretty good shape. I have most of my permanent teeth. My parents live together, which is very convenient. But socially, I'm a dud. I'm a complete washout with boys. Hey, Amy, could you get that? How was I to know they were playing with the game ball from some big championship? Don't kick it! <laughs> Athletic ability is a definite requirement with guys. Especially with Ryan, the coolest of the cool guys in our class. For his ninth birthday last year, I got him this neat, easily concealable water pistol. But of course, Ryan wanted a Commander Astro's Cosmic Plasma Blaster, which, according to Ryan, is used by the military. Oh, no, no, no. That's such a nice piece. Let's save it for someone special. <sighs> Whoa! And with girls, I'm missing out there too. Is there something wrong? Aren't you coming? But I don't have to go. I rarely do have to go, so I miss out on whatever bonding is going on in there. <laughs> And then there's Coco, the goddess of perfection on Earth. She's better than me in math. She's better than me in everything. Way too talented to have time for a mere mortal like me. Coco and I were almost friends once. 
until a defective water bottle got in the way. Last, and to all outward appearances, the least, Simone. These french fries are unusually good. Simone has never been mean to me. Simone? Mission control to Simone. Then again, Simone has never fully achieved consciousness. My mad money. The invitation to Ryan's 10th birthday party this year. The final, ultimate disaster. You know, I think things started getting really bad the day Miss Corbett brought that darn pickle to school. This pickle looks about seven centimeters across. The opening is about two and a half centimeters across. Can anyone tell me how the pickle got into the jar? I can. Yes, Ethan. You cut the jar in half, you put the pickle inside, and you glue the jar back together. Good theory, Ethan, but no, that's not how they did it. That's how they do it. I know that's how they do it. Amy. Amy. My grandfather builds ships and bottles. He puts them together with tweezers and strings, a little bit at a time. What does that have to do with pickles? Think you can build a pickle in a jar? I'm almost done building my pickle. Just gotta put on the little lumps. Now I'm painting it green. Johnny, it's enough. doesn't miss much. She could tell I was anguished. So I filled her in on what was going on in the darker side of my life. The exploding basketball, the plasma blaster, that very tricky water bottle. You are a very bright and charming girl. Just be yourself. But why does everyone else, with the possible exception of Simone, seem so much happier than me? I don't know. Life is full of mystery and puzzles. And if you're lucky, you'll find the answer to some of them along the way. Here's a list of all the children in your class. I want you to see if you can make one friend who is a girl and one who is a boy. Is there a time limit on this? No time limit. In fact, go slowly. Don't throw yourself at people. Give it a try. Would you like to come spend the night with me on Friday? We could stop on the way home and get frozen yogurt and rent grease with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. We could put on fake tattoos and play with my new triangle. My old one got bent. Do you want to, huh, huh, do you, do you? No. Higher and farther, please. Amy, remember, higher and farther. Thanks for the ride. Bye, girls. Sorry about the accident. Even Rosie had something she'd rather do than be with me. I'm home. Did you do that ballet? No, I did this in ballet. Oh. Oh, I need the kitchen. Ah! I was so jealous of Hannah. She's cute as a button and such a good artist. That's her specialty, animal footwear. 
How many girls from your class signed up for dance this time? Four. Oh. That reminds me. You wrote your name backwards again, you twit. Amy, don't call your sister a twit. Oh! Nit. Wit. Oh, Hannah. How lovely. What bright colors and such intricate patterns. I think it's important to show your feelings. I express my jealousy of Hannah by demonstrating the major symptoms of some really serious disease, like rabies or Ebola. Any progress on the pickle puzzle? Yes, Ethan. Okay, you cut the bottom off of the jar. Then you put the pickle in, and then you glue the bottom back on. No, I'm sorry. Any other ideas? Amy. Amy? As you know, tomorrow we have a test on Egypt, on what we have studied so far. When the pharaoh died, before he was put in his tomb, he was embalmed in order to become a mummy. But first, they had to take out the organs. But they needed to preserve the head. How did they do it? They took a long needle with a hook at the end, and then they pulled it through the nose, and bit by bit, they pulled out the brain. Remember the test tomorrow. Amy, you won't find the friends you're looking for out there in the clouds. I know. I'm trying, but nothing seems to work. Remember, the pyramids were not built in one day. No, not a day. More like a thousand years. But thanks for those words of encouragement, Mrs. Corbett. You missed some really interesting stuff in class today. Oh, really? I find the Egyptian culture Fascinating. Their preoccupation with the afterlife. The way they pushed those big stones up those big, long ramps to build the pyramids. To the Egyptians, the Nile was life itself. There's a bug on your shoulder. Get off! Get Johnny did today was very mean. But you just have to laugh it off. Ha ha. What are you doing? Nothing. When I was your age, the social fate worse than death was to be a member of the library club. A couple of my friends got mad at me one day, and they put my picture in the yearbook as the president of the library club. I was so embarrassed. Oh, no! I have a test tomorrow, and I have no idea what's going to be on it. Why don't you call one of your friends and find out? <laughs> you might as well give it a try. Here's the directory. I'll show you what I'm up against. Elizabeth! One of the popular girls. I expected her to laugh at me, ridicule me, hang up on me. But no. She invited me over to her dad's restaurant to study for the Egypt test. My luck had changed. Or so I thought. Sure, it sounds like fun. <laughs> what makes the pasta dough black? Squid ink. Of course. You guys okay? We're fine. Thanks, Dad. Study hard. Oh, uh, we will. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Let me get the buzzer. Yes. Uh, why'd you do that? Put that on my back. You think you're some kind of chameleon? Ha ha, I forgot my life. Cleopatra was so beautifully tragic. After several failed relationships, she killed herself by sticking her hand into a basket of poisonous snakes. Death was not instantaneous. What, what, what are, what's this? After sharing with me all the lurid details of Cleopatra's suicide, Elizabeth gave me a few style pointers on Egyptian hair and makeup. And this stuff wasn't even going to be on the test. Uh. Hmm. You're missing something. Oh! Montana. She started it. It's all her fault. Down in his basement laboratory, Dr. Fleischman made a startling discovery. Oh. Two of you made perfect scores on the Egypt test. Ryan? Coco? One of you, I cannot bring myself to utter the name. Need an. She's gonna be crowded forever! Oh my god, Elizabeth, I liked your vivid account on Cleopatra's death by snake bite. But um, watch your spelling. Convulsion has one L. She was the only girl left on the list. What did I have to lose? You'll see. I'm not allowed to wear my outside shoes inside the house. Oh, so you won't? Or street germs. Do you play the piano? No! I'm not allowed to go into the living room. Let me guess. This is not where you have your Fruit Loops in the morning. I'm only allowed to have product 19 and Musilix. Hello. Amy. Amy. You may have heard a tiny little outburst a moment ago. But I've now restored my inner harmony. Have fun or whatever. Oh, Simone. Don't forget your regimen. Yes, Mother. I'll 
never did find out what Simone's regimen was. I was too busy hatching a plan to escape. Acting out the symptoms of some gruesome disease would definitely be involved. Mrs. Hudson? Mrs. Hudson? Yes? Amy? Amy? Don't sit there. That's Mr. Hudson's chair. Oh, sorry. Mrs. Hudson, I don't feel so well. Would it be okay if I went home? That would be very inconvenient. Mrs. Hudson, I really don't feel very well. We had chili for lunch today. Last time we had chili, I barely made it to the bathroom before, you know. Here, if I had a sudden burst, I'm not sure I could. I'm sorry, Mr. Hudson. Making friends, I decided, was as mysterious and puzzling as getting a pickle to fit into a jar. I'd never figure it out. So I retired the list and prepared myself for my future in politics. If I am nominated as your candidate, for president of the library club, I will run. And if elected, I will serve. For life. Dad, you're eating kids cereal? Yeah. I think mom bought that for us. Uh-uh. Dad, I want to go to a new school. Why? What's wrong with the old school? Boring teachers? Bad food? No, actually, the food's pretty good. Great french fries. But I have no friends, and my teacher is obsessed with how a big, fat pickle got in an itty-bitty bottle. Granddaddy builds chips inside bottles. What does it have to do with pickles? Can we move to a foreign country? I'll get it. Hello, darling. I have a package here for Mr. George Everhart. I need him to sign for it. Do you get to travel around the world? No, just around town here. As a matter of fact, I hate to travel. Why, sometimes I wish I could sit Dad, on the porch. Dad, the winging wheel guy is here. You wait right here, please. I'll go get him. All right, Pop Everhart, I need for you to sign right here, if All you would, right. please. Just right there. There you go. Here you go. All right. And here's one to go out. All right. Address, zip code. OK. All set. All right. You have a good day, big guy. You too. See ya. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Sorry, sweetheart. Plus, I want to be Another lonely Saturday. I was so desperate for companionship. I let David talk me into investigating the skeletons we thought we saw in the back window of old man Gower's house. That's the aforementioned Mr. Gower. He's a real sweetheart. I don't think this is fun. Shh. I don't think this is safe. Stay here, but watch for Mr. Gower to come back.
What do you see? What do you see? Is it a torture chamber? Let me look. I'm not going to be able to lift you. Wait a minute. My name's Hannah. What's yours? Hurry, hurry. He's going to be back soon. Are you hungry? Hey, I don't think those are real body. They look like plastic. You kids get out from there. Go on, get out of here. David, come on, stop looking. David, David, come on. David! And you, some look out you are. Amy, Hannah, Amy. Oh, don't get up. Let me. How many times have I told you to put away Junior Typist and those surprising animals and the rest of your CD-ROMs when you're finished? And what is this pink sticky stuff all over the keyboard? Peppermint ice cream. Oh, hello, Mr. Gower. In the unlikely event I wish to have juvenile visitors at my home, I will issue invitations. Thank you. Would you wait just one moment, please? I'm not here. No, too young to die. He eats people. Ah! Oh, come on. Now I want you to go apologize. I'm sorry we were snooping in your house. that to me for our anniversary. Now I can be late to more things because I can call ahead and tell him I'm going to be late. I want you and Hannah to both memorize that number. What time are you going to be home tonight? After 11 o'clock. You'll be sound asleep. Oh, look, what else your father gave me? Is that silver? It's tin. For your 10th anniversary, you get something made of tin. On your 25th anniversary, you get silver. And your 50th is gold. What's the hundredth? You don't have a hundredth anniversary, you twit. Amy, I've asked you not to call your sister a twit. But she is a twit. Hannah, long before your hundredth anniversary, you are D-E-A-D. -E I rest my case. I know, I know, dead. Like the people in the back of Mr. Gower's house. What? <laughs> Dead bodies. Uh, those are the plastic bottles for Mr. Gower's art studio. Actually, he's a pretty well-known artist. Twit. Amy. No, not that twit. David, the twit next door. Dumb and trouble over a bunch of plastic dummies. <laughs> gone for four hours. Four hours is an eternity in the life of a friendless person. <sighs> to have friends, Amy, you have to be a friend. And I'd suggest you start by being a little nicer to your sister and to David. Well, I'm not at all sure it's worth it. Dad! Wow, Dad. Spiffy. Thank you. Ready? Almost. Um, 
Maybe you better go downstairs and clean up a wink wink uh, for the babysitter. What are you doing? Your babysitter tonight comes from the Whitson Bible School, and they're not supposed to go into any houses that have liquor in them. But, Daddy, we do have liquor in this house. Well, actually, I think the rule is that they're just not supposed to go in any houses where the liquor isn't um, well hidden. Speak of the devil. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'm Nancy. The babysitter. I got real round, and you know what? You can have this piece of bread, too. Here you go. And you got the egg? Watch this. Ready? One hand. Woo! Ha! <laughs> Pretty good, huh? OK, your turn. It's OK. I got it. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Um, where's the? There's got to be a towel around here. Each summer, when I'm not teaching school, I take my music to some remote part of the world. What kind of music? Songs about heaven and angels? Well, I do, you know, some sacred numbers, of course, but mostly I sing about matters of the heart, the torment and ecstasy of love. Go sit down at the table and I'll sing you a song I'm working on right now. <clears throat> this is a song about rejection, despair, and survival. Let the merrymaking begin. What's the matter? Oh, come on. Everybody loves my toad in the hole. Amy, is something weighing heavily upon your heart? Hannah, there is a bag in the back seat of my car. Would you be an angel and go get it for me? Sure. I have no friends. Not one. Everyone either couldn't care less about me or they're psycho. <laughs> Listen, Amy, do you have any special talent? I can hold on for two days without going to the potty. I'm famous for it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Here. You guys play golf. Here. For you? For you. Oh, we need a foursome. Do you have anybody you guys would like to ask along? How about David? Oh, no. Four? I found it! Off to the back nine! We'll meet you in the clubhouse. Though I put through the shadow of the creaky grist mill, I will fear no bogey. Thou studiest mine hands. Thou improvest my lie. <laughs> Woo! Pretty good shot, huh? Okay, come on, it's your turn. Just right up there. Yeah. God is your friend, Amy, even if you don't know it. Even if you don't think you need him to be. Coco's birthday party group. Yeah! Yeah! Which one of you is Coco? Me, 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 me. Coco, for you we have the special pink putter. Yeah! Yeah! I want to go home. 
Okay, girls, listen up. After 11 holes, when the game was suspended on the count of rain in Amy's heart, the score was Nancy, 37, Amy, 49, and Hannah, 50. Million, jillion, swillion, quintillion. Well, maybe I did bend the rules just a little bit. But that's okay in a silly little game like putt-putt golf. But not in the rest of life because you can't put anything past God. So don't even try. Hannah? Hannah? We have liquor hidden in this house. I noticed the beer in the cabinet wrapped up in the dish towel, and I thought that was a right odd place for it. Our dad hid it there. I appreciate him trying to respect my feelings. I'm surprised he didn't put it in the lower cabinets. That's where most of the people I set for put it. The bottom cabinet was too full of wine bottles. Hannah, shut up. Hannah, this is adorable. This is really cute. Oh, look at that. Looks like someone tried to turn Noah's Ark into a shoe store. Look at all the animals, where they come two by two. Artistic talent is a gift from God. He's been very generous to you, Hannah. In the peaceable kingdom, love and harmony abide. Now, I believe with all of my heart that God creates companions for all of us. Just like for Adam, he created Eve. In the fullness of time, he'll reveal to you the companions that he's chosen for you. When is the fullness of time? Well, when you're ready, Amy. I fell out of bed. Again? Mom, you're home! Oh, Hannah, are you all right? Yes. No. Would you like one of your favorite dolls? Yes. Which one would you like? I need them. Is this for Nina? No, this is mine. This is Constance. She has the same color hair as me. This is Granina, with the lovely neon jello hair. Amy, that's enough. Now, go back to bed. Think lovely thoughts, Hannah. Can I sit up in the balcony? All right, but meet us back here right after church. Can I go with you? No. Amy, let your sister go with you. End of discussion. <clears throat> Hannah, wait right here. No. Hannah, just do it. As, um, as you know, excuse me while I clobber my sister. Hannah, 
I told you to stay out here. I meant it when I said it. I want you to stay out here. I just want you to know that I'm ready when you are to meet my chosen companions. Thank you. When the pickle reaches its maximum acceleration, it should enter the jar at exactly the speed of light times A plus B to the third. Thank time. you, Ethan. Anyone else having any further thoughts on Mr. Pickle? For a while, and it was one, life as usual. Two, and then three, it happened. Four, a miracle. And one, two, three, four, and rest. <laughs> you got to be kidding. No, no, no. Oh, my gosh. My cousin's got to be kidding. No, no, no. No way. Coco. Coco, I want you to practice your candle dance. And then be careful. I'm going to get this bottle open if it's the last thing I ever do. Get off there, you silly lid. Anyone have anything to hold up my hair? Uh, uh. Coco, your skirt's on fire! One, Watch up and roll! Two, we get the water! Oh, 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 now, Coco and I were the best of friends. We played together studied together, danced together. We were inseparable. If we got into trouble together, Coco stuck by me. The only thing that could have been better, I thought, was for Ryan to be nice to me. But Ryan still showed no interest. David, on the other hand, the uncoolest of the uncool, showered me with attention. Well, David just wasn't Ryan. Amy, do you know where my animal slipper drawing is? Uh, no. Mom said we can have a picnic up in our room. Want to? Excuse me. I'm talking to Coco. Oh. Ethan's so brilliant in math. He's like a genius. But he's so... Just so... You know who really kind of likes you? Me? Yeah, you. Who? Yeah. Who? I can't guess. Paul has wavy brown hair, and his name is. There's no one left on the list except Ryan. Ryan. Ryan told me not to play. My rapture was all too brief. Ryan, 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 we're going to miss you so much when you move to Memphis next week. But congratulations to your dad for his promotion. And please, come and visit us. Don't forget. Right, Elvis, for me. I barely slept and just picked at my food. Till finally, Mom decided I needed the help of a 
professional. 67 pounds. Dr. Epstein Hasselhoff will see you now. Dr. Epstein Hasselhoff, well, we were here just a couple of months ago for a regular checkup and we saw Dr. Bergen. Dr. Bergen's no longer practicing medicine in this state. Dr. Epstein Hasselhoff, what do you recommend? Ah. Oh. Aroma therapy. Scented wands. Want to come over and build a vacuum cleaner out of Legos? David, get a life. A game of Yahtzee, baby? Did you get an invitation to Ryan's party? Yeah, like he gives a lot of notice. Are you going? I'm trying to talk my big brother into driving me there. I've had my license for over a month. I'm also an organ donor. <laughs> Can you uh, reach the ignition and the pedals and everything? Mom, he drove over here. He can operate the car. Amy, I'm sorry. I just don't feel good about this. Come on, sis. Let's hit the road. Bye, Amy. I'll bring you back a piece of birthday cake. Mom, please. It's a long way to go for a party. You can send a card. A card? And maybe a gift, too? But the party's tomorrow at 10 o'clock in the morning. Gee, what a shame. You could send a gift with the guy in the funny hat who drives the white truck. We and wheel. Oh, Mom, can I please? Can I? I'll do anything. I'll sell my hair, please. Let me check my stash and see if I have a good guy type gift. What about this? The Canal System of Holland. Is that one of those books that cost about 49 cents? 99 cents. But it's the thought that counts. And what would the thought behind that gift be? Good point. <gasps> Amy, Amy, look! Commander Astro's Cosmic Plasma Blaster. You bought Commander Astro's Cosmic Plasma Blaster? You bought Commander Astro's Cosmic Plasma Blaster? Well, no, it was put in my sack by mistake at the toy store. I was going to take it back, but then I realized that they hadn't put in Dainty Susie's tea set, so I figured we were even. Oh, can I give that to Ryan? Please, 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 please. Why not? You're going to need a box to put it in, though. Go check in the basement. Next to the water heater. Make lovely thoughts.
wait. Hop out. I got here first. Out! I need to check something. Tonight at midnight. Why? Just in case I have something to report. Don't let mom and dad know I'm gone until morning. Got that? Not until morning. Not till morning. I promise. You sound really stressed, man. You should try like aromatherapy. Hannah! Poke me an air hole with the scissors. Okay. Watch out. Hey! -ya! Be careful. something, Amy. What are you going to do if you have to, you know, go? Go where? The bathroom. David, I've trained my whole life for this mission. Amy is here. Whoa. Whew. It's a mighty big box, honey. Is your dad coming out? Uh, no. My mom asked us to bring it out here to save you some trouble. Thank you, little lady. Appreciate that. Oh, no, oh, no, nope, 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 nope. No zip code. Can't take nothing, nowhere, no how, without no zip code.
Okay, thanks, darling. I put the little bitty numbers in the little bitty boxes. Be sure and give this pink copy to your dad now. to Memphis. I don't go to Memphis, kid. I just take this stuff to the warehouse. Some other poor schnook gets to drive it all night to Memphis. Uh, just tell the people in Memphis I have that one ready next week. I'll tell the Memphis driver, man. I don't do Memphis. As a matter of fact, it's quitting time Ola for old Eddie boy here. See ya. run, big dude. I hate the Memphis run. You know I hate the Memphis run. The Memphis run is torture. Yes, Graham, I was invited. Do you have foam or feather pillows? They have foam. Yes, I'll call if I start to have an episode. Good night. What's an episode? It's when I can't breathe and my eyes bulge out to about here. Wait, now 
Check it out. Well, what does it look like? It's uh, tan and, and brown and it has diamonds on the side. And it makes this weird squishy noise when it moves. It's either a southern meadow snake, non-poisonous, eats small plants, and cares for its young more than any other snake. Oh, how cute. Or, or an Egyptian stealth viper. Ah! Would you like me to tell you a little about the Egyptian stealth viper? I wouldn't let him if I were you, Amy. I've got a gun. She's got a gun? A Commander Asher's Cosmic Plasma Blaster. Plasma Blaster? Cool. Do you have any water for it? Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Amy, not on full. Why not? The Plasma Blaster is the most powerful water gun ever devised. Full power at close quarters could be lethal for you and the snake. Yikes. Extreme prejudice or just armor piercing is all you really need. Wait, Amy, don't shoot. I'm sure it's the Meadow Snake. You'd be hurting a gentle and harmless creature. Are you sure it's the Meadow Snake? How can you be sure it's the Meadow Snake? Because, according to this, if it was the Egyptian Stealth Viper, you'd already be D-E-A-D. -E Don't say it. Dan. He said it. I think he's asleep. He's all cuddled up against my box. I bet it was just looking for a friend. Oh, great. My close personal friend, the Meadow Snake. What is David doing there? Did you blow my cover? Does Mom know I'm gone? No, Amy. We got it under control till morning. I promise. Way to go scaring me to death with that stealth viper thing. Good night. Mrs. Caldwell? Why are you telling me this? David spends the night out so rarely. I really should prepare a little travel case with all his medication. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You think David is sleeping over here? Well, yes. I hope it's all right. It'll go a lot easier if you talk. Sit. Please. Hannah, for Amy's sake, where is she? What time is it? It's 3 p.m. tomorrow. No, wait, that's Australian time. It's 6 o'clock. Is it morning? Is 6 o'clock considered morning? 
Is that the morning newspaper? Is it officially morning? Yes, Hannah, it is morning. It is the morning of the last day of your life if you don't tell us right now where Amy is. What is it, George? Amy? This is Mommy. Amy, where are you? In a cardboard box. She's still in the box. <laughs> Amy, where is the box? Inside a truck. Does, Amy, this is no time to get fresh, now, honey. Where, where is the truck? I, I don't know, Dad. I don't exactly have a window seat. Wait, I think we've stopped. Okay, hold on, honey. We're coming to the rescue. Let me talk to her. How's you know who? I don't know. Time for Zorro yet? <laughs> Too bad she couldn't come. He still likes me. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to bring her back a piece of birthday cake. She remembered. out. No lives were lost. But did I receive the praise and gratitude I so richly deserved? You really overreacted, Amy. It was just a tiny fire. <sighs> you had all the way here in that yucky box. What a dorky thing to do. Does your mother let you travel like that often? That cake cost me a fortune. Well, I just want you to know I still hold here in my hands a loaded Plasma Blaster. Ryan! What's it said on armor piercing? Ha! Extreme prejudice? Uh-uh. Pet to the Stone Age? One-way ticket to the town of Bedrock. Coco! Amy, don't do it! You're better than that! 
No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You'll regret it. No, I won't. Remember, the pyramids were not built in one day. To have friends in it. To have friends in it. To have friends in it. You have to be a friend. 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 If all the time, 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 time. All right, all right, I won't. I'm putting it down, and I'm walking away. Oh, Ryan, happy birthday. And Coco, don't worry about bringing me a piece of cake. I'm wearing it home. like talking to anybody, especially you two. Okay, that's for the cake, and that's for the laundry bill. That's to get the pool cleaned, and that's to get the windows squeegeed. I'm very proud of you for not shooting Ryan and Coco with a plasma blaster. But I'm not proud of the way that you treated Hannah and David. I don't consider myself a mean person. I was mean to David and Hannah. Especially Hannah. What can I do to feel better? Okay, what can I do to make them feel better? That? Do I really have to do that? Couldn't I get off with something easier, like wearing really tight braces for a year or two? No? Okay, I'm going. Would you want to give me a hint how that pickle got in that jar? <laughs> That boy isn't with you, is he? No, sir. My sister did these. I think they're pretty good. I just thought you might be interested. Well, bye. Wait. that you finally took that picture of Ryan out. Frankly, I never really thought he was good enough for you. Simone, what happened? Licorice. Yo, Mrs. Cole Bit, have a great summer. Loved your class. There's a letter for you. Is that funny handwriting? I can't read. What, English? I'm sorry. I couldn't read cursive till last year either. Dear Hannah Everhart, Charles Gower wishes to invite Hannah Everhart for a tour of the Gower Art Studio at 4 p.m. on Tuesday. How nice. I wonder what brought that on. I don't want to go. You've got to, you twit! Wow. <sighs> How did 
Where'd you get that? I'd like you to have this. Nothing real fancy. Just a little something from one artist to another. Thanks. That's done with real paint, isn't it? Very real paint. This Stovart stuff is not worth a fig. To have fine paints with saturated, bright colors, you gotta make your own. This is known as pigment. I order it from Amsterdam. Do you know where Amsterdam is? Holland, where the canals are. I'm gonna go home and leave you two here. Bye. Thank you. Trigger a few gentle squeezes. Wow, that was pretty good. In a fire, always keep low to the floor. How do you do that? When you're in a burning house, don't go through a door without feeling it first. If you don't. Bravo! Hope you had a good time. I did. I really did. Well, goodbye. It was nice knowing you. Goodbye. My parents are ready for me in Australia. They found a school. A school that meets your special requirements? Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, goodbye. It was nice knowing you, too. Linda, girls, come on! I want to get to the lake while it's still light. I gotta go. Would you say I made up for past wrongs? I fixed up my sister with Mr. Gower, who, prior to becoming an artist, worked as a troll under a bridge. And I hung out with David, who, bless his heart, is a sweet guy. I got a card from him saying he'd been elected president of the library club. I bet it was a landslide. Oh, George, stop, stop, stop. What, what? Wait, stop. C can we go here? What? Oh, no way. We're late enough as it is already. Oh, sometimes you find the most extraordinary things at places like these. OK, five minutes, but we're just looking.
Hi. Nice place you have here. Thanks. How much land do you have? I'll show you. Come on. To the crest of that hill over there. That line of red oaks and sycamores over there. To the edge of the cemetery at the chapel over there. And way down there at the far bank of the last lake. Have a bee on your shoulder. We keep bees in a hive over yonder. My dad says we got the sweetest honey east of Memphis and west of the river now. Amy, Amy, look, they have a bunch of these. Maybe they know how to do it. Sure. This is a baby cucumber. Pickles are made from cucumbers. You put the cucumber down in the bottle, and you tie it off so the cute doesn't pop out. And when the cute grows to full size, right there inside the bottle, you snip it off, fill the bottle with pickling brine, and you screw on the cap. As Mrs. Corbett says, life is full of mysteries and puzzles, and if you're lucky, you'll find the answers to a few of them along the way. Y'all come back now. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go, Amy. Amy? Excuse me, ma'am. What's the zip code here? I 
just a little more playtime party all night and sleep in the daytime get a big house on the corner of easy street deliver me